Morning YouTube, Sister Kate here. Yahweh's blessed me again. Look at this day. It's not burning hot sun in the middle of July in the Ozarks. Come on now. That's got to be intervention. Divine intervention. Uh, anyway, today's video I'd like to talk about my buddy. I mean, I've never met her in person, but I'll tell you what. She's a dynamic woman, and she's got a really fa um, fantastic website, This Old Homestead. And she put up a video that I would call controversial, um, I think it was yesterday, called Change This Channel. And what her, um, not premise, what she was saying was she is tired of the homesteading scene. She's tired of homesteading drama. And I got to be quite honest with you, I don't know much about it because I'm not, even though we are part of it, we're not the mainstream part of it. We're the weird little off-grid Hebrew part of it. Um, but she said she got tired of it and she wants to turn her channel more towards the Torah, which I think is a very, um, worthwhile, worthy, you know, holy spirit driven, uh, desire. And I agree with her a hundred percent. Um, and her point was there's not a lot of Torah perspective from women. I thought about doing videos like that myself, but I feel like I... As soon as I'm certain of an opinion on something, someone brings up another point and then I change my opinion. So I don't know if I'm an authority on it yet. Um, if you have questions about it, I'd be happy to discuss them on my channel. Um, but I really do wish her all the best and I think she's going to do a great job at it. Um, but something she said that really struck me was, how many chicken videos can you know people do and watch? She's bored to tears with it. And I thought, oh! That's my, you know, that's a sacred cow, as it were. Uh, chickens, they're adorable. We can never talk about chickens enough. Well, that may be true for me, but not everyone in the world. It's my personality type. And she said she was bored, and I'm sure many other people are. So I totally get that. Uh, the whole reason I did the Homestead Exchange site, which needs to be called Homesteader Exchange. I need to get that edited, but I'm not sure how because otherwise it looks like homestead or sex change, and you know we're not all about that. Um, the reason I did that channel was so homesteaders would have one place to go to like exchange ideas and do barter and stuff. And I thought the website was ready, but <coughs> apparently all we can do is blog on it right now. I'm not sure what happened there, and I'm not a very good uh, web designer. So um, if any of you want to help me out with that, just contact me at Morrigan, that's capital M, O-R-R-I-G-A-N-5-5 at Hotmail or private message me on my page and maybe I can get you to help me out there. Anyway, um, that's not the reason for this video either. Um, she brought up a really good point in that people are getting bored and sick of all the drama and so forth. And so <clears throat> that made me start thinking because I'm the kind of person who likes to stay where I am. Oh, we're going to have a Chinook flyover. Yay! U.S. forces. Here, let me see if I can get a picture of it coming over the top. It's coming right over top of me. I'm going to have to wave at it. Just lets me know how special I am. Um, so, I, I got thinking about it, and what is the bigger picture for this whole group of people because it's an interesting phenomenon a whole group of people in the 21st century felt disenfranchised from their own culture from their own um, lifestyle and decided they wanted to get out and get off grid or homestead or simpler life however you want to call it so what's the bigger picture there what does that mean because these sort of things have happened in the past where people feel the pull for community and withdraw, like the, um, oh, there's a real famous one up in the Northeast. The Quakers had their little community. There was an art community up in, in uh, New York. And it happened sort of, I think, in the 1820s, 1830s, around the time of the Great Revival also. So maybe the turn of a century or a turn of a um, millennium brings about a change in perspective. So what I think is unique and I hope you guys are seeing this about this particular time 
is we can have the best of both worlds. We can have technology like Wi-Fi out in the middle of, you know, a forest. If you look around me, there is nothing, nothing for a long way. Um, we can have solar power. If, if I had done this in the early 1900s, I would not have that option. So I think there can be a new lifestyle created by these people, by us, by homesteaders who have withdrawn from the culture and have moved out and have gotten out. You know, there's people who've been living rurally this whole time who are like, you know, what's the big deal? We've been doing this our whole lives. The big deal is um, it's new in a bigger way. It's not just people who are coming out here and trying to be farmers forever and ever because there have been farmers and ranchers and they that is their calling. It is in their blood. They teach it to their children and they do that. This is small time farmers. This is individual people and individual farms. And we are doing these things, <clears throat> some of us for the very first time, some of us have had skills relating to it, but uh, we, we want to be independent units and yet we all have things in common. So that's a really cool thing. And uh, I know there's people out there who are picturing uh, medieval town type life, people who are picturing, again, artist colonies, people who are picturing religious colonies. And I think that's a, that's a worthy vision and it's definitely worth um, talking about and experimenting about. So that's my point of view on it. Um, where's it all going to go in the future? Maybe a bunch of these little communities all over the place who then have to figure out their um, their identity within their bigger community. You know, how are they going to govern themselves? How are they going to relate to the government already there? How are the Amish doing it? How are the Hutterites doing it? You know what I mean? And freedom of religion, you know, is going to at least be on the side of those communities that have based their uh, lifestyle on their belief system. So that's some of my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? And also shout out to uh, this old homestead. Inter interesting move on her part. I'm very uh, looking forward to your comments and wondering where you think this exodus is going next. Eh? Shalom!